The powerful search features in Logos provide the ability to perform simple or complex searches across your whole library or a subset of it in seconds. Visual filters can be created from search results to visually denote items of interest. This information can prove powerful when writing sermons or preparing Bible study lessons. Searches can run in a variety of modes through the search panel. We ran a search when looking at the Factbook tool. Here we will look at an overview of different search options. Drag the search icon over to the right to open the search panel. There are the following options. All. This searches your entire library and ranks results according to relevance. In addition, various cards are shown, showing specialised results such as those from Factbook, The Atlas, Media and more. Bible for more focused searches within Bibles. Note that this also includes results for related words such as prophetess. To restrict the search to just the specified term, click the match all forms icon to deselect it. Books for general searches in your library. Run it to search all resources in your library for the word profit. Media for finding relevant media such as diagrams, maps or art. Clause to find specific terms such as subjects with their associated verbs within a clause. Look at the results to see how the story develops. From Jesus returning to his hometown, going into the synagogue, reading from scripture, speaking about its new relevance, not being understood or accepted by his own people. Morph. For identifying particular forms of words, this is done against original language texts, but you can use them even without knowing the original languages. We'll come back to this later. Syntax. To explore the detailed grammatical structure of a passage in an original language text. Other. Enabling searches from a range of sources, including your documents, the atlas, the factbook, and more. As well as creating a search from a search panel, you can do it from the context menu. Joseph is mentioned in verse 22. To find all places where he is mentioned, even if not directly by name, right click his name in verse 22, select the person entry and run a Bible search. The limited references to Joseph after the early life of Jesus have led some to conclude that Joseph died when Jesus was young. Identifying the verbs in the passage is an important step to understanding what it is saying. This is easy to do using a Logos Morph search. This can be used to identify all the standard grammatical terms. Even though this runs against original language texts, you can use them without knowing those languages. If required, you can constrict the range to the particular passage you are studying. Construct the search by introducing a morph term using the ampersand sign and selecting a verb from the drop-down or typing V and hitting enter. This finds all the verbs in the selected passage and highlights them both in the search panel and in the biblical text. Note the verb proclaim in verses 18 and 19 which we will look at more closely in a later video. Take time to think about why the attitude of the people changed from verse 28 onwards. You might want to reflect on that in your sermon. Closing the search panel would make these highlights disappear. To make them permanent, set up a visual filter by opening the panel menu and clicking Save as Visual Filter. Call it Grammatical Terms in Luke 4, 16-30 and specify what sort of formatting you want. Then, when you close the search panel by clicking the cross in the tab, you can see all the verbs clearly identified in blue. If you want to turn this off, you can toggle it in the visual filter menu. The power and capability of Logos search functionality associated with visual filters provides real value when exploring biblical passages when preparing sermons or Bible study lessons. Logos provides many more tools to help with preparing for sermons or Bible study lessons. And in the next video, we'll look at two of them, the 
the information tool and the explorer tool.